hello in this video we try to discuss a trick for solving complex capacitive circuits in 30 seconds before starting our discussion i just remind you to subscribe my channel and press the bell button for getting some amazing tricks in physics and mathematics before starting our discussion i suggest to you to watch my previous video regarding with the killing approach to solve complex circuits in 20 seconds that method is very similar to this method and helps you a lot the link is given in the description box i know so many questions in your mind what is a complex capacitor circuit how can we solve it in 30 seconds don't worry i will help you continue with me i will introduce four tips which will answer your questions just wait tip number 1 this gives your the answer for your first question how can you fix a capacitive circuit as complex you just consider a circuit which is having capacitor c1 c2 and c3 and uh, we know that in this case the capacitor is it is 100 percentage cd circuit just look at the figure in the figure you see that in between two capacitors there is uh, a wire which is connected to a capacitor and a cell like this uh, in between two capacitors if there is a cell or capacitor comes like this then we can say that it is not 100% series circuit it is a complex circuit look at this figure three capacitors are there c1 c2 and c3 uh, these three capacitors are not in parallel you know what is the reason is i will say the reason behind that in between two capacitors or between a capacitor and a cell if a loop with another capacitor and cell comes then we cannot say that uh, the capa- the circuit is 100 percentage parallel so this type of circuits are complex capacitive circuits tip number 2 here we select a lower potential junction and we assume the potential of this junction as zero tip number 3 here we select a higher potential junction and assume its potential as x according to the circuit it may vary sometimes there are two junctions then uh, we can call it as x and y tip number 4 in tip number 4 we take or we use the conservation of charge that means for a junction we take the total charge as zero just wait there we are going to solve a circuit as shown in figure for that we take a a circuit having capacitor c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 and three power supplies of 10 volt 5 volt and again 10 volt as shown in figure according to tip number 1 we can say that the circuit is not 100% series 
and not 100 percentage parallel we can say or consider it as a complex circuit and we want to solve this complex circuit with the uh, help of our method first we give names for the nodes as a b c d e f g h okay next we want to fix the lower potential and higher potentials here for that uh, we know that junction a and b both are the negative side of uh, two cells that is of 10 volt and 5 volt that is v1 and v2 so we fix that a and b as lower potential so uh, we first equate the lower potential to zero next we want to fix the value of node c for that uh, there is a 5 volt battery here b is zero then it is sure that uh, c is more than 5 volt comparing with b next we can fix the value of d the value of D is 5 plus 10 volt, that is 15 volt. There is no cell in between D and E, uh, so the value of uh, the voltage of D is equal to E. Next, we can fix the value of H. There is a 10 volt between A and H, so we fix the value of node H as 10 volt. For the junction G, uh, we didn't know the actual value of G. We take it as a higher potential uh, because from H there is a capacitor and from B there is also another capacitor. So we consider it as X. Similarly, we can mark the junction F also as an unknown potential. We mark it as Y. For any junction, we can use the law of conservation of charge. So we get the total charge as zero. That means Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 is equal to zero for any junction. We know the expression for charge Q and we get the expression for charge Q as Cv. And uh, here uh, we apply the conservation equation for the junction G. Then we get the value of capacitance is 2 microfarad here. And uh, the difference in voltage is taken as X minus 10. Okay. X minus 10. Then we get. 2 into x minus 10 similarly plus 2 into x minus 0 plus 4 into x minus y that is the voltage difference we get uh, it as 0 uh, similarly we can find out the values uh, for the junction f uh, we get another expression and on solving we get the values of x and y here by knowing the value of x is equal to 7 volt and y is equal to 9 volt uh, we can find out the charge of any capacitor here and also the voltage between any two capacitor plates for example just take C1 here the voltage between C1 is 3 volt because H is of 10 volt and G we find it as 7 volt the difference is 3 volt the voltage between C1 is taken as 3 volt and charge on this 3 volt is obtained as Q is equal to C1 into voltage difference between plates then we got 2 into 3 equal to 6 micro coulomb is the charge on C1. 
प्रैक्टिस दिस मेथड विल श्योरली हेल्प यू इन योर कॉम्पिटेटिव एक्सामिनेशन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन Thank you very much